What's up everyone? Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to be going over my custom Breda 92A1 that I've had refinished in burnt bronze that I've done extensive work on. We're going to take a detailed look at all the work that I've done. So this is my main competition Beretta, it's a 92A1. It's actually had a lot of work done to it, both in the frame as well as internal parts. Actually has had a lot of raw aluminum exposed to it because of all the framework I've done to it. And it had a lot of holster wear, so I figured, you know what, it was time to get this bad boy refinished. And I've always liked the burnt bronze color, so I got that done. So let's take a closer look at everything I've done. And before we begin, please take the time to hit that little red button right there to like and subscribe, as I have plenty of do-it-yourself content for the Beretta 92 platform. And we're going to be having more of these custom Beretta build videos in the future. One final thing to note about all the work that has been done to this pistol is that even though I have done all the work myself, I'm not a licensed gunsmith. I'm just the average doomsday prepping dude. And then I recommend that you take your pistols to a licensed gunsmith or a professional to get all the work done so that way you don't mess up your pistol. So the first thing I usually do with almost all of my pistols is I dehorn the beaver tail. On the 92A1s and the 96A1s, it actually has a fatter beaver tail than uh, standard 92 FSs and M9A1s. So that actually used to uh, dig into my webbing of my hand a lot and I'd actually bleed a lot. So by beveling the and dehorning the, the beaver tail, I can really, really get high and uh, tight on the beaver tail and it's very, very comfortable. <laughs> The second thing I do to almost all of my pistols is actually what Langdon Tactical does on their Elite LTTs, is they dehorn the magazine release area there. You can actually see it's really, really well rounded off. And while I'm doing that, I actually also undercut the trigger guard there so I can get really, really high with my middle finger in the grips. You'll also notice that I'm using the new 92X match extended magazine release. And the extended magazine release uh, for the 92X is a little bit rounded and slimmer profile on the back side than the regular Beretta Extended Magazine releases. So because it's rounded, uh, there's actually sharp edges here around the magazine release area that will stick out if you just put this in. So I went ahead and I really, really blended this in so it's nice and smooth all the way around. Um, it's nice and contoured with the magazine release. So the last thing I did was I went ahead and I beveled and opened up the magwell. Uh, this is a 92A1, not an M9A1, and the M9A1s have a beveled magwell, so you don't have to do that. But on the 92A1s, you do if you want to have a wider mouth opening to make your magazine reloads a little bit easier. <sighs> All right, I just got my competition Beretta 92A1 back from Serico today. I got this done in burnt bronze. Actually, I got the barrel, slide, and frame all done together. Uh, this came out better than I actually expected it to be. I'm really, really excited to put this thing all together. So this is what it looks like raw, straight from Cerakoting. And then I'm gonna show you what it looks like put all back together. <laughs> All right, so this is what it looks like all finished and completed in burnt bronze with the three serial match of the barrel, slide, and frame. I do have a flush cut black barrel that has been reverse crown that I'm gonna show you next, but this is what it looks like if you get it all done, all the same color. Let's take a close look at all the work that I've done with the undercutting of the trigger guard, dehorning the trigger guard area and magazine release area on both sides, so all the sharp edges are now taken off also beveled the magwell to make it easier to reload and dehorned the beaver tail so all in all it makes it very very comfortable to hold and shoot and if i didn't tell you that i'd done all this work or pointed out that i did all this work you probably won't be able to tell because the cerakote job that i got done is very very professional and it looks from the factory and this just looks like a really really sick gun now 
So one other thing you'll notice as part of this transformation is that I took off the Wilson Comet olive green grips and I put on these grips by lock grips. This is their Velose texture in brown and black. I think that actually highlights and complements the burnt bronze color a little bit better than the olive green. And uh, I really, really like the grip texture on these grips. This is the first grips I have from lock grips that is in this Velose texture. So if I'm going to be completely overhauling my pistol, I figured it's time for some new grips as well. So the other thing that I've changed is that I took off the 92X Performance Match Slice Stop that has an extended area for your thumb to rest on and put on a regular slide stop. And the reason for that is because you need to do a cutout on your existing grips in order for the match slide stop to work. It does seat a little bit lower because of the, the thumb ledge there. So you need to modify your grips, and I haven't had a chance to modify my beautiful new lock grips yet, but I will be doing a do-it-yourself video in the future to show you how to do that if you decide to go that route. I've actually been working with lock grips to put that cutout into production, so I sent them my 92X match grade slide stop along with the grips that I modified so they can look at the specs of what needs to be cut out and uh, how that actually functions. So hopefully in the future, you all can order it directly from them with that cutout, but for the time being, this is what this looks like. So this is what it looks like with the black barrel that is flush cut and reverse crowned. I think I like the black barrel a little bit better than the burnt bronze barrel as it gives it the right amount of black accents with the black Beretta parts and the two-toned grips from Lock Grips. I really, really like the burnt bronze color and how this turned out. I've always been a fan of the burnt bronze color ever since I've seen other users on YouTube and pictures of it uh, in this color. Uh, it, it actually just has a really, really nice looking burnt bronze. And birds with their open top design having the black barrel really, really gives it a, a cool accent piece and really makes it stand out. All right, so that's my custom Beretta 92A1. If the Coiled Cobra was to build a Beretta, this is exactly how I would build it for the 92A1. This thing is absolutely badass. Hope this gives you some ideas on things that you may want to do to your pistols as well. And that being said, please take the time to hit that little red button right there to like and subscribe as I'll be having more of these custom Beretta videos in the future, as well as I have plenty of do-it-yourself content for Beretta pistols. And just remember to train hard so when the time comes, you can strike.